Meantime, the Ministry of Health has provided an update on the management of the fourth wave of COVID-19 in St. Lucia. From July 25, 2021 to present, 7,044 cases have been noted and over 30,000 tests have been conducted. 50% of the diagnosed cases are in the age group of 25 to 49 years and 57% of the cases are female. Active cases in St. Lucia are 334. The majority of cases are from Castries, Grosely, Fiefor and Babano. The Ministry of Health also continues to manage a COVID-19 outbreak at the Bodily Correctional Facility. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belma George provided insight into the current situation at the respiratory hospital. We recommend a gradual transmission into the high-risk services to ensure it is implemented in a sustainable way. We are working to prevent further spikes during the festive season. We continue to ask the public to work with us and exhibit responsible behavior to ensure our recorded COVID-19 numbers remain low. We are also working to ensure the sustainable school reopening for all of our children. Let us all take personal responsibility to keep ourselves and families safe. Our behavior as adults directly affects the education of the children at this point. We have available both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at the various wellness centers. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective at protecting persons from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster Pfizer vaccine is also available for persons who have had both doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine for over three to six months. Parents are also encouraged to vaccinate their children from 12 years and older. Let us make the educational environment safer. Health officials note a further reduction in the transmission rate, hospitalization rates, positivity rates, and prevalence rates of COVID-19. This week, the ministry continues to facilitate increased social activities for fully vaccinated people. There are presently 22 COVID-19 patients admitted to the respiratory hospital. One is in critical condition and four of them are severely ill. The daily infection rate for the past week was 11.8 per 100,000 per day, which is a 30% decrease from the previous week. We note a steady decline in the rate of transmission at this point with a present rate of 1.1. During that same period, we noted a total of 165 COVID-19 deaths with a case fatality rate of 2.3%. Males account for 57% of the deaths. Today, Monday, November 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received a notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of nine new cases of the Delta variant. All of the cases are nationals from the south and southwestern zone of the island. Six of them are female and three of them are male and the ages range from 38 to 79 years. A total of 54 cases of the Alpha variant and 31 cases of the Delta variant have been diagnosed in country thus far. The Ministry advises the public to remain vigilant and to adhere to the stipulated protocols.